We know there was a fourth bag of money. Where'd it go? We told you, Doris, we never saw it. Now leave us alone. I don't think you get what's happening here. This is an interrogation and it's only gonna end one way, with you telling us everything. <laughs> Something funny? It's just, I don't think you get what's happening here. You're locked in a small windowless room with the two of us one hour after lunch. Oh no. Wanna know what we ate? Four cheese pizza, double cheese with a side of cheesy fries, extra cheese and a big old slice of cheesecake. But Scully, you're lactose intolerant. Yeah. This whole room is a Dutch oven. I'd like to talk about my promotion. Very well, but first, how do I know you're not wearing a wire? I need to pat you down. If you must. What is going on? I'm watching something. How long you've been planning this? A day, a week, a year? Or is this the only reason you joined the force to begin with? So you think I became a cop just so I can steal your pie? Your words, not mine. No, don't tell me why you did it. Tell him. You want me to talk to this picture of your husband? Look him in the eye and tell him what you did. I didn't do it, Kevin. Don't you say his name. No, Terry, I'm not mad at you. I know you didn't mean to do it. You just got hungry. And that's the most natural thing in the world. I didn't take your pie. You're lying! If you're so innocent, where were you when the pie went missing? I was at the grocery store buying goose feet for Nicolaj's dinner. I was getting the oil changed in my bike, preparing for my solo Thanksgiving ride. I was at the gym. Ava's birthday, Thanksgiving dinner, is a high caloric affair. Terry needs to earn that feast. Everybody has an alibi, how convenient. So I hope you're comfortable because I will keep you in here all day if necessary. We need the room to question someone about the Red Hook homicide. Oh, no problem, we'll be right up. Don't you think maybe we should just wait till your boss comes back? Oh, uh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Because you're scared. You know I'm playing hardball, except for that the balls are questions. And here they come. What kind of car did Robert drive? Also, Dana from the bar, what color was her hair? And which night does the cleaning crew sterilize your office? And have you ever been up to where the body was found? And when you left your phone at the office, was it plugged into your computer or an outlet? And did you kill him? And what did your cab driver look like? This seems like a huge waste of time, but here you go. Robert drove a sob, Dana's hair was blonde and sterilized on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I haven't been to Vernon in 20 years. The phone was plugged into the wall. No, I didn't kill him, and the cab driver had a beard and the earring. I'm sorry I didn't get his license number. Wow. Very impressive. Yeah. You didn't fall for my did you kill him gambit. No. Although it is interesting that you knew the body was found in Vernon, New York, when that information hasn't been released to the public. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Regina. Don't play games with me, boy. This is a bad idea. Hey there, bud. We've been going for a while. You feeling hungry? Starving, thanks. Oh, come on! You get a yogurt when I get the truth. Oh, God, it's in the grout. It's gonna smell in here forever. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna hide the old bracelet and win me this heist. Uh, don't you mean win us this heist? Oh, Terrence, unfortunately, I do not. What the hell? Sorry, Sarge. It had to be this way. Why? The banner only has my name on it. It's really all about the banner. It unfurls by a voice command. But I promise that I will mention both you and Earl Scully in my victory speech. Wait, Earl's here? Yeah, he helped us with the heist. I told that son of a bitch never to show his face in New York again! Oh, why are you running towards the glass? Ugh! You're a dead man, Earl! Oh. That's not great. You're a dead man, Jake! That's much worse. So you were just borrowing those cars? Ask him about his bank account. Ask him about his bank account. Ask him about his bank account. You should ask him about his bank account. Captain, Santiago broke the glass. All I know is I woke up in a pool of my own blood next to a metal chair that had a dent in it the same shape as my head. What were you doing before the attack? I was sitting in said metal chair watching the season two premiere of The Masked Singer. The egg had just gone, and I'm pretty sure I know who it is, Sarah Gilbert. That doesn't make any sense. Are you kidding? You don't think I know how Darlene walks? No, 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 I'm sure you do. It's just The Masked Singer ended four months ago. I still can't believe that the bowl of ramen wasn't a Kebe Matumbo. Four months? No, 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 I watched this last night. That doesn't make any... Where am I? What is that table? Calm down. You're at the 99 and you know what a table is. Because I'm not asking. Oop, handle fell off. Let me scrap that. <clears throat> nope. So, looks like we're locked in. That's bad news for you. Because you're trapped in here with a psycho. 
Has anyone tried it from the outside? Lock's broken. Gotta call facilities. Copy that, no rush. As I said, I got all the time in the worst little worm in here, right? Do you feel any air coming out of that vent? I got nothing. We got an ETA on facilities? At least 45 minutes. And they've checked all this paint for lead, right? And the room for asbestos? I feel like I'm sucking on a tailpipe in here. Marcos! Everybody get away from the mirror! Come on! I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Hey, calm down, man. I'll confess. Just stop freaking out. What? I did it. I robbed them. Boom! And that's how it's done. I was faking the whole thing to break him. I could have stayed in here forever. Good, because facility's going to be a couple hours. We're going to die in here! OK, Amy, I know you're in a lot of pain, but we don't have any meds here. You just got to try not to focus on it. Can you distract her? I got this. Hey, Amy, you come out with any new binders recently? I don't want to talk about binders, Rosa. All right, that was my big gun. She's just going to feel this. Not necessarily. I was just checking to see if there's anything we can do to help. And I hate to say it, but I think there is. Oh, you think he's gonna get me drugs from evidence? Uh, no. Something way weirder is happening. Hit it, Jeffords. You still want to pretend you had nothing to do with this? I didn't, and she didn't either. Trudy Judy's not a car thief. Trudy Judy's an angel. She's put herself through nursing school, and nurses are the best of our society. Name one bad nurse. Nurse Ratchet, Kathy Bates in Misery. Nurse Jackie had a pill problem. OK, damn. Got a lot of real good examples off the top of your head. You believe me, right, Jake? I mean, the fact pattern's not great, but Trudy did seem very nice when I met her. You trying to get your freak on with my sister? What? No. I see you looking at Trudy Judy's booty. I am not looking at Trudy Judy's booty. Oh, you don't think she's a cutie? Don't be snooty. She's a beauty, but I'm on duty. And you're married. Well, yeah, but that doesn't rhyme. I'm sorry. Number one, could you please sing the opening to I Want It That Way? Really? OK. You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. The one desire. Number three, believe when I say. Number four, I want it that way. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Now number five, I never want to hear you say. I want it that way. Ah, oh, chills. Literal chills. It was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my god, I forgot about that part. Why are you in here? I'm hiding from Hitchcock and Scully. I can't take any more. They got into a meatball fight at breakfast. They win. The bullpen is theirs. No way, Papa Bear. When Nikolaj and his best friend fight, I have them do an activity together, like a puppy puzzle. Makes them cooperate. So are you saying we give Hitchcock and Scully a case and make them work it together? No, no, no. We give them a puppy puzzle. Now let's go to town on them, daddy style. All right, I need you guys to assemble this jigsaw puzzle for a case I'm working on. Why do we have to do it together? Yeah. Uh, cuz? Can't argue with that. Cooperation instead of punishment. Damn, Boyle, that is some advanced level parenting right there. I learned from the best. Thank you. Loyal life from Gilmore Girls. OK. I guess being a daddy just comes naturally to me. Oh! He's got no! Two, three, four. I'm telling you, this machine is broken. Ask me a question. Is Jay-Z really your favorite artist? Yes, obviously. Lie. See, it's busted. Is it? Or is your favorite artist really Taylor Swift? No. Lie. All right, fine. She is. She makes me feel things. She makes all of us feel things! Look, that machine is working just fine. Why are you being so crazy about this case? I wanted to work the toughest case we had. Why? Because it would feel awesome to solve it. Because a real man doesn't run from a challenge. I mean, do they run from the bulls in Pamplona? Yeah, that's the whole point of it. Seriously? That seems lame. I don't know why you want to spend the entire weekend at work, but I'm going home to my family. See you tomorrow, Jake. Fine, abandon me. I don't want you here anyway. That's a lie. Come on, man. I used to work at a chop shop. It was chill. Decent hours, good benefits. 
You could work while you were high, which I never did, because that's irresponsible. Anyway, we did a lot of work for this dude who stole Pontiacs. The Pontiac Bandit. OK. We called him Bill, but whatever. Dillman never talks first when he's in the box. Well, Rosa never initiates conversation of any kind. Guys, I really have to get out of here. Somebody please say something to get it started. No. And there it is. Now that I have the upper hand, let's get started. Stupid Terry and his stupid kids. You were the only suspect who did not go out for lunch. But if you were eating at your desk, how did you not see the perpetrator plant the glitter bomb? I wasn't at my desk. I was in the break room. Oh, the break room. That explains it. I guess we're done here. Oh, here comes the Dillman double back. Just a double back. Oh, my. He actually said the words. What a treat. If you were in the break room, why was the IP address of your laptop logged into the Wi-Fi on the fifth floor? Fine. There's an empty office there where I go to be alone. It seems innocent enough. Why would you lie about that? Maybe because you were up there assembling a glitter bomb. I was watching a soap opera. Sorry, I didn't. I was watching a soap opera. It's called Drake's Hollow. I never miss an episode. It's my mother's favorite show, and when things were bad between us, it was the one thing that we could still talk about. Oh, that's sweet. It is kind of sweet. Sweet enough to fool a lesser detective. What? I wasn't fooled. Take her away. OK. Here's the first set of royal babies I rounded up. Popular costume. Any of these guys look familiar? Maybe the third guy. Baby you mugged me was pretty short. <laughs> You're not supposed to laugh at me. Number three. Step forward and say, give me your money, you stupid bag of crap. Give me your money, you stupid bag of crap. No, wrong giant baby. I still want to know why you got kicked out of Catholic school. Are you doing drugs? Worse. Selling drugs? Worse. How bad could it have been? Did you burn down a church? Number three, step forward and say the word worse. Worse. Well, Sharon is happy, and Captain Holt has no idea where she is. Damn, we are good at stashing pregnant ladies. Huh. Guys, my water just broke. Don't worry about that. We'll just get you another one. Oh, you mean your body water. That's much worse. This really feels like fate, because I was arrested in this precinct literally a year ago to the day. Here, I brought a toy for the little guy. Oh, thanks. That's very nice of you. He's so soft. Your son's really going to enjoy cuddling him. Want to see me cuddle him? I love cuddling. Well, this went south very quickly. I consider myself a bit of a Mary Poppins. Oh, how so? I'm your nanny. I'll slap your fanny. Slap, slap, slap. Your fat little fanny. Yeah, it's going to be a no. Not to be harsh, Sarge, but you're setting a terrible example for your daughters, and they're going to grow up to be total failures. You take that back. No, she's right, Jeff. It's your children are doomed. Where's the plaque? For the last time. I don't know. I've been working here the whole time. Ask them. Well, actually, well, we both fell asleep. And Jeffords never woke us up. Coincidence? I don't need this. You're not going anywhere. Damn, Rosa! Ah! He's trying to get away. Everyone start panicking. Get someone lock the door. Stop, losers! I have the real plaque. Mm, mm. Gina, of course. It all makes sense, except for the parts I don't understand and the fact that I still kind of think Terry did this. It says here you were an IT specialist with the Board of Ed for 10 years. Well, I know my way around a computer, that's for sure. Query, what's your favorite Jay-Z song? I'm sorry? Favorite Jay-Z song? <laughs> She's kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. What is it? I don't know. I'm sorry about her. Okay. What's your experience with cybersecurity? Uh, well, I added uh, encryption software. But seriously, what's your favorite Jay-Z? I don't know. Big Pippin? It's Big Pippin. Mm, wrong answer, friend. And that's um, how I got involved in you know, systems analysis. I'm sorry. I'm really nervous. There's no need to be nervous. Yeah, we're all just calm, cool, collected. Ah! <laughs> Oops, was that a little sudden? What would you say is your biggest weakness as an employee? Um, I'm sorry, what was the question again? He said, what's your biggest weakness as an employee? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Charles is engaged. You handled this really well, Peralta. I take back what I said about you being immature. Huh. Apology accepted, fart monster. OK. Oh, OK. Yeah, this is turning into a live sex show. Yeah, let's go. Oh, no, I wasn't saying it in a bad way. Jake! Yep. 
Although they can't see us. Jay! Yep. How do your prints end up on a wrench that was sent to this police station? That wrench went missing two weeks ago. I thought someone took it out of the back of my truck. Of course. That sounds totally reasonable, Eric. Or should I call you by your real name? Johnny Francia. I don't know who that is. Uh-oh. Something stinks. Something stinks real bad. Did you poop? No. You did. You pooped. Oh, God, it's everywhere. What did you eat, buddy? Today, I had some oatmeal. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to lie you down. I'm going to take your pants off, and I'm going to wipe your little tushy. What is going on? I actually have the same question. Hold on one second. Jake! Jake!